Just imagine having success from the get-go, right? It's a good thing. It's actually not a good thing because... Are you struggling to get started with Godot or game development in general? Then you have come to the right place. I'll give you 5 tips that will get you faster to results. I'm Adrian, welcome to Redefine. Let's get started. First things first. If you're curious to know how I learned Godot in 2 weeks, there is a video popping up right now. Tip number 1. Make a plan. This playing Hello World is not fun at all. I mean, we already did it in various languages. What could make you improve your learning process so that you get to your goals faster? Well, you can start by implementing a simple game like Pong, Tetris, Asteroids, Snake or whatever and make sure that you go through each one of these player movement, interactions, AI, user interface and more. Set up a list of everything that you want to get covered and make sure you have a game from start to finish. That means to have from main menu to the main gameplay loop to the end screen. Once you have that, it's good. And why is having a plan so important? It's because it gives you an achievable goal. And of course, don't set your goal to create a massively multiplayer online game as your first game. Just trust me, don't. <laughs> Tip number two search for specific tutorials. And what do I mean by that? If you, for example, search for tutorials for Godot um, in Google or in YouTube, you'll um, have a lot of different options and uh, you can easily go, go down the tutorial rabbit hole. You don't want that for several reasons. Because first, you can take a huge detour from your actual work. And secondly, you might get scared with how much information is out there. What can you do instead? Well, if you don't know where to start, it's simple. You just head over to GD Quest or Heartbeast because they have beginner tutorials where they show you how to create a game from start to finish and that's helpful and after you finish those tutorials and you have a basic understanding of the game development process then you can search on your own like tutorials for artificial intelligence or for networking or for sound or for any other field that you want to improve your knowledge in. Game development is really tough and you have to pick your battles if you want to have success. By the way, if you want to get started fast with game development, I have a free guide, links down in the description. Tip number three, don't be afraid to fail. And some people might be afraid of making mistakes, but mistakes are a crucial part in your learning experience. And why is it important to make mistakes? Is because after each mistake, you actually learn more and more. Just imagine having success from the get-go right? It's a good thing. It's actually not a good thing because you don't know exactly what actions you did in order to achieve that success. I mean, you probably made, let's say, let's say you made 100 actions and only 50 of those actually contributed to that success. And it's not easily reproducible. But if you achieve your success learning from your mistakes, then you know exactly how you got there and you can reproduce it over and over again. Sometimes you will find better ways of doing something. Don't just jump in that and rewrite the code or rewrite the whole module or recreate everything. Take your time and analyze if it's worth it and don't get stuck in this improvement loop. Tip number four, see progress that will keep you going. I'm gonna be honest here. Game development is not easy. Working hours, days, months on particular code pieces or polishing that is not easily visible during playtime will have an effect on your motivation. And how can you fix this? Well, it's easy. You have two lists of tasks. One with fresh new stuff that you are eager to implement and one with bugs. Try to mix them up so that it always stays fresh, but you also work on your stuff that needs to be done for the game. And by doing this, you actually prepare yourself for the long run, because game development is a long journey. Tip number five, give yourself challenges all the time. Working for six plus months on a project can be stressful, can be a grind. And why do I say this? Because in the beginning, you'll learn a lot. You'll learn about new mechanics, you'll implement them. You'll learn about new techniques, and it's gonna be awesome. But then at some point, when all of these are kind of wrapped up, you'll have to create the content for the game. And the first three levels are going to be nice, but then imagine yourself working on 10 more, 15 more, 20 more, whatever it takes, because, for example, the game length needs to be two hours long. And why is that important? Well, I have a video explaining this that should pop up right now. But coming back, so how can you make this process fun while also um, 
learn new stuff? Well, one way that you can do it is participating in game jams. And what are game jams? There are small competitions between game developers, usually in a couple of hours or days, with a specific team and even some other constraints. And they are a lot out there, but I want to focus on Go Godot Jam because I'm organizing it. And the first one was a blast and you can check it out in the description, but I'm organizing the second one, which is this November. So if you're interested, stay tuned. I'll link also a newsletter so you can subscribe to that and learn more. I'm Adrian and I'll see you in the next one.